world searching for gaming knowledge comes the man, the myth, a legend in his own mind, Critical. Welcome back, guys and gals. Critical here. Today, I'm bringing an episode of Battletech. Now, it is a turn-based mech shooter. And I have played the pen and paper, the tabletop game, a long time ago, and I loved it. Um, this is the first game that brings me back to that same feeling I used to have when I used to play this. For and then you know, you start a campaign on uh, a Friday evening, and you know, Sunday evening, you're like, oh god, we've got to get this done because we have to get ready for work. Then you know, on Monday. And this is what we used to do. So we're going to start the campaign. And we'll let you guys watch these intros. These are, these are important. I am Kamea of House Arano, High Lady of the Oregon Reach, Protector of Koromadir, and the Sword of Restoration. But I am not a hero, no matter what the stories say. A hero would have sacrificed more, compromised less. A hero would have done better. You know this, of course. You were there. My father used to tell me stories about the ancient times. About the Star League. A golden age of prosperity. Upheld by the great mech warriors of old. Guardians of the innocent. Protectors of the peace. I always dreamed of following in their footsteps. I was too young to see the truth of things. After all, it wasn't heroism or a noble cause that won me the throne. It was hiring a mercenary, skilled enough, perhaps ruthless enough, to carry the day. Hiring you. I still don't know if you fought for honor or for the thrill of it, for belief in my cause, or just in my money. But whether it was your noble heart or mercenary mind, your actions gave us hope. That makes you a hero in the eyes of history. Whether you believe it, that's up to you. Now, I'm not going to sit here and read everything to you. One, my chances of actually doing it without stuttering and screwing stuff up continuously, and two, being able to pronounce everything, it's just not going to happen. Just to give you the, uh, a quick rundown, you're in the Wind Ward Proprietary. See, I already messed up, and that's what I'm saying. I I'm not going to do this. <laughs> All right. Um, your family moved out here. They colonized a... a, a a little backwater area and became the ruling power on the only planet in this system. Um, and that's where our story begins. Now, decades ago, your family came to the reach from, and you have to pick where you're coming from. All right. Um, I'm probably, uh, house Davion. See, I, these houses all mean something to me because if I find high house Steiner, but I think I'm going to have to go with House Davion. Uh, I, I just have to. Well, I could do. I could do something that I normally wouldn't. I'm going to go for uh, just from being out in the deeps. All right. It's what we called it when you used to play being from the deeps, meaning you weren't part of any of the houses. It's just you just you're out from the, the outside, the, the outer rim. All right. So you are of noble birth. Because you're of noble birth, one of the things that gets passed down is a battle mech. It's the Blackjack BJ-1. Now, no matter what you choose to be your, uh, your background, you always start with a Blackjack. I kind of wish the developers had put some more story into it. Like if you're from House Steiner, it would be more of a 
an assault style, even though it's it could be a light, but it could be a light assault mech. Or if you're, you know, from one of the other families, it could be more of a scout mech, if that's kind of like they're, if they're more into intrigue and getting behind enemy lines. I think that was something that they could have done, and the developers kind of missed that. But yeah, everybody starts with a blackjack, all right? And this is Mastiff. He comes and trains you to be a mech warrior. Your family paid him to do so. And it's basically been an uneventful life until the day of your 16th birthday. Now, you can shoot... You can read this for story, or you can just look at what they give you. This one gives you gunnery and tactics. Uh, this one, you're struck out on your own, gives you piloting and tactics. Uh, tactics and guts. Piloting and guts. And your family was betrayed is gunnery and guts. These are all part of your mech warrior, and it and it it, it affects your skills. How how you uh. How you can work in the game and i think for my main character i w i know i want piloting and gunnery and we don't get both of those we get piloting and tactics gunnery and tactics tactics and guts piloting and guts i think i'm going to go for the piloting piloting can be really important to your uh to your to your character it's it's how you drive your mech all right the mech is a is a vertical giant battle mech you know it's a it's a giant robot and how you pilot it is very important and but i want gunnery and piloting to be my character's main attributes i want to be able to hit stuff and i want to be able to keep my mech standing and keep it moving around the battlefield quickly the guts just gives me more health so we're going to go my family died in an accident. The rest of your family died in a freak jump ship accident, after which you discovered they had left nothing behind but piles of debt. After selling everything to settle the debt, you're set off on your own with only your family's ancestral blackjack left to your name. Okay, I can deal with that. That's my background. And on your own, now you can choose. So remember, I said I wanted gunnery. That's the one I didn't get. Guts, gunnery. Uh, go to be a glider in the arena, tactics, tactics, and piloting, a mercenary guard. I really want to have at least one thing of gunnery. So the question is, do I want to go back here and get gunnery and guts, my family was betrayed, and then take the one for piloting? Gunnery and guts, and then go for uh, a merchant guard. I spent my time, you know, in the inner sphere. Uh, working as a guard for merchants. That's, you know, working with a training guild. That actually could do, you know, I could actually be useful. And I get that what I wanted was I wanted a, a, a pip in piloting. And then years later, you cross back's path with uh, Mastiff again. Basically, you're, you're in a mission. You get your butt beaten, and Mastiff comes and saves you and wants to take you uh, he's got a job for you, and so you're going to uh, join the House Arreo Royal Guard. Now, I'm not going to sit here and make you watch me do character creation. I'm going to go ahead and cut to where the character creation is done. I'll see you on that side. All right, guys and gals, I've gone ahead and got my character creation done. That's the portrait I'm going to go with. Uh, I've, I'm happy with it. It works. I didn't spend too much time on it, to be honest. Uh, my call sign is going to be critical, obviously. The first name's going to be Cyber, last name's going to be Knight, and my pronoun is he. I do give him credit. They have he, she, or they, so they take care of everybody. I appreciate that from a developer. Now, I'm going to start with a three gunnery, a three piloting, two on tactics, which is your effectiveness of a call shot opportunities. You can raise those over time, and three guts, which affects your health and how you're, uh, you deal with recoil. Basically, how tough you are. Uh, gunnery, of course, is just in the name. It's it's shooting stuff, and piloting is how you you keep your mech standing up on the the battlefield. All right, so let's confirm this and go. So her father is dead, and she has to take over. 
Like I said, I'm not going to read all this stuff. You guys don't want me to. Let's just be honest. Okay, so this... Enter the... Uh, the bad guy. I mean, he looks like a bad guy. Let's just be honest. It's so obvious just from him. He wants you to change the way the, the place is run. You say no. He gets pissed. And yes. I mean, it's a story old as time. Predictable. Some of it is predictable. But... Uh, I think the story's done pretty well for what they have to work with. I mean, it's a video game. You're not going to have serious palace intrigue in it, but it's still pretty cool. Now, this is a tutorial mission. We're going to go through it pretty quickly. I love these. Their, their art style, it really sings to me. I really do like it. Now, there is a lot of loading screens. I will warn you about that, but I'll be cutting out a lot of those Command in the future. Command interface initiated. I mean, the graphics of this are awesome. So you can WASD your map around, which is nice. You can Q or E or mouse. So this is your, uh, your old mentor who's hired you for this job. And he just got your blackjack fixed up for you in the Esperanza refit yards. And we've got to run through a couple of drills to make sure our mech is in top working order before we head out to uh, to escort the queen, the, the new leader, to her coordination. Need to move to this area, so I click on myself. You come right out and say it, kid. I wasn't completely honest with you the other day. There's going to be more to this job than escort duty. Huh, you don't say. So this is your interface. You have your paper doll, which tells you about your armor, front, uh, back armor, and front armor. These are all the weapons that this um, that this mech uses. Okay, here's your initiation. We're gonna see all this in later missions. Just give you a quick rundown. Here's all your action bars, and here's all your possible mech warriors. Right now we're on our own, and we, he wants us to move to this area right here. So we click. Once we do, we can choose how we're going to be facing. Facing is important in this game because if you turn your back to an enemy, they can attack your weak side. Or if you have a damaged, you know, if your right arm's damaged, you want to turn that away from your enemy so that you can still shoot them, but you'll, you'll have your right side protected. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. We don't need to in this tutorial, but just gives you an idea. Now you can see... So they want me to shoot like these I urban saying, mechs. I can't prove anything, but my gut tells me something's off, and a warrior trusts their instincts. So if I was this urban mech and I was going to shoot my character, you'll see that I have a better chance of hitting this side of my character and not that side. That's what I mean by how your facing is important. But basically, he wants us to attack. We're going to click on attack. We're going to click on here. And you can choose how many weapons you want to use. It doesn't matter. It's just a tutorial. Let's just go ahead and fire. Now that's called an alpha strike. And I basically destroyed them. Now these are derelict mechs. There's nobody in them. They're just they're just there as target practice. Now this is a vehicle. It's a target dummy. So he's just some background that he's been training uh, Lady Araro since she was 14 years old and her cousin for the last year. Now I want to she check on like the targeting confuser. And her late father, High Lord Damati, was a good friend. All right, now I am not going to fire everything at this thing. There's no reason to. We're just gonna fire the two AC2s. Now it's gonna move, but when it does, it's now an exposed. But she's been a loyal companion to Kamea since they were kids. Aside from you, there's no one I'd rather have by my side in a fight. Now, initially he told us that we we're gonna take a shot at this and it's gonna turn and run. Well, now it's turned to run, and you can see this is, it's showing us its back. 
and these red arrows, this is showing us that we're going to be attacking the back of the mech. That rear armor right there, which is pretty weak. We're going to tear right through it and blow it up real easy. See? Like I said. But I love the art detail. Looks pretty good, too, in this game. Now, the camera can be kind of wonky. There'll be times when you're like, something's happening, you want to be watching it, but you can't. You can't see it. It's just the way that the uh, the, the Mac camera is. I'm hoping that the developers uh, take note of that and fix it later. So he wants us to jump to that area right there. Mechs can have jump chats, which are a really nice way of getting around the battlefield. And when you're in a, when you're when you're jumping, you have you can turn as much as you want. Now, when you're running or sprinting, you might be only to make small movements, and unless you you don't go as far, then you can, you have more movement points. So you can turn more. But when you're flying in a mech, you can do a 180 or a 360. You know, if you want to spin around in the air, I guess you could. But what do you know good? Enemy detected. Now you can see I have overheated, but yeah, it wasn't my fault. That. Jump jets build a lot of heat. And that was more than your engine could handle. Head on into that water. We need to get you cooled off. Our jump jets malfunctioned. And now we no longer have jump jets for the rest of this mission. See? Unfortunately. So, when you get into water, it'll cool you off. It, it, it'll it bleed off a lot of heat much faster. Makes your heat sinks work much better. But now he wants us to do a melee attack on that target dummy right there. So, we're going to move. We're going to move to here and then we're going to attack and basically I just kicked him right in the gut melee attack in this game can be really fun if something goes wrong today I want to know that you're mecha maneuver so now he wants me to sprint all right now if I sprint I won't be able to attack when I get to the end but I'll get what is evasion points so when I, if I sprint to right here, if you look at the, the word sprint, when I go up here, just underneath there's a pip. Each one of those pip is an invasion point. Every invasion point you have makes it harder for the enemies to hit you. So I'm going to go to the maximum and I'll get three evasion points. And even though this is, this is just training, I'm going to turn and face my, my enemy, which is him. And then he's going to shoot at me and wants to see if I can dodge his attacks, basically. Now, when you do dodge an attack, if you hit or don't get hit, you lose one invasion point. An impressive display, Sir Raju. Of course, this mech warrior was a student of yours. I'd expect them to know their way around a cockpit. I could have sprinted over here, but didn't do it. A little by poi back and forth about an arena match that they're going to be holding. I mean, I'm sure you guys are smart enough to figure out what's going on here. I don't have to tell it to you, but you'll see. Mission success. I remember the Oregon Reach of old, the time of the Great Expansion. I was just a boy then. Proudly we went forth, bringing the light of our coalition to so many systems. And for what? To see our great kingdom slowly waste away? Year after year, the Council deliberates while our economy falters and the wolves bay at every door, while covetous neighbors plot against us. Well, I say, it can go no further. We are here today because if Lady Arana will not act, someone must. I know what I'm asking of you. You will face former comrades, or even loved ones, on the battlefield. I take up arms against my own niece. But remember, 
Today, we sacrifice so that tomorrow we can return our kingdom to its proper glory, to its proper strength. So should you fall tonight, know that you did so as true heroes of the Reach. To your stations, for the Directorate! Like I said, he's a jerk. Now, I'm tempering in my language, you know, it is YouTube. But yeah, he's a bad guy and eventually I hope at some point we get to kill him. Don't know yet. Command interface initiated. All right, now we're back on the, the field. We have three mechs. Lady Chimera's, um, I forget what her mech is, but we'll see here in just a minute. Um, Massifs and yours. So we have three mechs that are on the uh, field and oops, there's smoke. And it's a guard post that's on this road and there's two mechs over there waiting for us. This is damned odd and I don't like it. Kid. Keep your head on a swivel and be ready for anything. All right. Now, right now, we're in a free movement phase, meaning that we don't have enemy enemy contact. We can move all of our mechs aye, aye. Uh, quickly. And just push up. There's a Royal Patrol. We should go meet Whatever's them. That's what her um, orders are. Your your now, this is one of those buggy cameras moments Thank like, you, why are we staring at this when the, the mech is me. <laughs> of that, I have no doubt. So we're going to go ahead and try to keep our evasion up max. And we haven't seen any bad guys yet, so we can just keep freely moving. And they have these hero cam angles, which sometimes are really cool. And then sometimes can get bloody annoying. All right. I'm moving. Now, when you're on a road, you can move faster than when you're not on the road. All right, so that's something you want to take into consideration. I'm going to go ahead and walk up here. Confirmed. When I get up here, I'm going to brace. I'm bracing, I have evasion because I moved, and then I'm guarded and I'm entrenched, which means I'm harder to hit. But I don't want to move her first. I want to move myself first. And once again, I'm going to move him. I'm going to sprint up, though. Now, she can't get past them. She can only go right there because they're they're blocking the road. I did it on purpose. It's not like you can pass through your enemies, uh, your 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 friends. If your friends are in the way, your friends are in the way. You just have to deal with it. So you have to plan out your moves. I can't move backwards. Let's say I wanted to, to move. I can't. I have to move forwards. But I am going to move in such a way as I get as much cover as I possibly can. Now that's an, an action's taking place. Hail! They want to escort us to the to the city, and of course we're not buying any of it. Because why is your mech all beat up if you're supposed to be a royal escort? <laughs> Overdue for maintenance. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, here it goes. Take him, kill the old man and the mech warrior, but take Lady Araro alive. Fall back, Kamea. Get behind us. You so now we're into a enemy encounter. So I lost one evasion, and he hit me on my uh, right side. So any mech that has a light mech moves in four, 
medium mech, so like my blackjack or the Katara here will move in three. On the battlefield for the enemy, we have one light mech and one medium mech. This really shouldn't be that hard of a battle. So right now it's my move. Oh no, it's I've Mastiff's move. And I want to get as much evasion as I possibly can, but move in such a way as medium laser, LRM-10, AC-10. So if I were to try to attack him here, I don't have a line of sight. That red line right there means I have a line of sight. The, the red eyes over their heads means that they can see me. So I want to move someplace that I at least have a shot. So let's say if I move there, I have 80% on everything, but my LRM, which is a long range weapon, won't be able to hit. But I'll just go ahead and move here, facing that direction so I can attack this mech right here. Now, I can attack this mech, or I can attack this mech who hasn't even moved yet. And maybe do enough damage I don't, I mean, you can see how bad his armor is. There's always a chance that I could do enough damage to drop him. If I did a sensor lock, I could take away his movements, but then he can't attack. I want him to attack. And the next round, I'll be able to attack and Lady Camaro will be able to attack as well. So I think I'm gonna go after the Shadow Hawk. All right, and I want to attack. Now I can do a multi-attack, which I can attack both but it splits my fire. I prefer to focus fire. So he's gonna focus fire on the Shadow Hawk. And we're doing a frontal attack on him. If I were to switch to him, it's still a frontal attack. 80% on those, only four in the LRMs. 90% on the AC-10. AC-10 can do 60 points of damage. That's pretty big. I have a possibility of taking this mech if I could do a called shot, which I can't do right now, I had a possibility of taking him out. But right now, let's just go ahead and All fire on the Shadow Hawk. Oh! I critted as one of his medium lasers, and I opened up his, his chest armor right there. If we look at this mech, he's going to move forward and do his attack. Nah, I, I took a little that bit of a little bit of a hit. Bad. Not much. I, I I got definitely got a better hit on him than he did on us. Standing All by. Right. I'm gonna go ahead and move her up. I want to get that invasion point, and I want to be in the trees because I take 25% less damage when I'm in the trees. I'm on it. Ooh, I might have messed up there though because my angle I might not be able to attack <laughs> Oh well because I was an idiot. I didn't turn my my mech to face face them so I can't attack No, well, there you go first first stupid move All right, I think there we go. See, that's why I wanted to, I should have done with her, is made sure that I could turn and face these mechs. So I'm gonna go ahead and move through the woods, get my evasion, and still be in cover, which will help. And I think because of his damage, ah, I kinda wish, I, wish I'd been on the other side. But I'm gonna do an alpha strike on him. Right now my heat's not a problem, so I'm gonna fire everything. Heat sink destroyed. Enemy cool. Two pinch sinks were destroyed. Detected. Yep. Talk to me. Massive. His turn again. So I am definitely going to go for this mech. Question is I definitely want to move. I'll be giving him my back if I move there.
I guess I could let's see. I'm not going to get a double evasion. Unless I give my back, which is not worth it. If I move over here, that still Roger. do it. We're going to finish off that the mech we've been beating up on, the Shadowhawk. We're definitely going to finish him off right here. I'm not going to fire the LRMs because I only have a 45% chance to hit. There's no reason to take the heat. See, if I fire the LRMs, it costs me more heat down here. But I don't need to do that. We're just going to do the AC-10 and the two Firing. medium lasers. <laughs> Almost took him out. Almost took him out. Now, because I took out that torso, that explosion injured that. Ouch. He's going to fire me right in the back. No problem. I'm listening. She. Hold on. I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this. There we go. She's the biggest mech on the, the field right now. So that, that hit she took, she can take that pounding. But now, I can just lay waste on him. I mean, everything except the LRM-5. There's no reason to fire those long-range missiles. Engaging hostile. Goodbye. Good hit. Center torso destroyed. The mech's been destroyed. The heat, the pilot's been incapacitated. Basically, the pilot's been killed. All right, now I... I'm going to I do not want to move out of cover if I can help it and face this guy and then we're going to alpha strike again on this guy heat's not a problem right now actually I'm going to drop the ace the ac2 is there a longer range weapon it's just a waste of ammo no reason to waste ammo Engaging target. all right structure exposed which means i opened them up Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. and that means massive is going to be able to turn around and just pound how can i help uh, how much what are you at right now? You could probably take it. I was thinking about maybe going up and do a melee attack, but it can only do 70 points of damage, so it's not going to be enough to uh, finish him. So we are going to move. Nope, I wouldn't be able to turn around and fire. We'll do that. Copy that. Get some more space. We don't have to be up close. Most of our weapons, and now everything is in range. So we can fire at this guy and hit hit, hit him with everything. And everything is in 80s and 85s. But he's a really good pilot. I mean, he is a seasoned vet. Roger that. Ah, right torso, right arm destroyed. Pilot enter. Pilot is injured. Now it's his turn. Dude, where are you going? You need more practice. I'd have to agree with that. He just turned his back to this mech right here, and you she's gonna. Attention. Yeah. Oh, she has the ability to do breaching strikes uh, attacks. Passive attack with a single weapon in order to uh, cover and guard it on the target. Well, they don't have either, so there's no reason to, uh, to worry about that. We are just going to attack. No, not melee. 
We're not even gonna move. We don't need to. Uh, yep. Copy that. Just lay lay wait. Send our torso destroyed. That mech's destroyed. Target We're moving on. Now this is gonna be a longer episode. We gotta get to this tutorial. Now, I did overheat that mech, but it's the story. It doesn't matter. By the time we're done, we're not going to have to do any repairs. If you overheat the mech... Traitors in the guard. If you I overheat the mech, the beginning. you can damage Follow the internal me. structure, Keep and that gets very expensive. Things are likely to get ugly between here and there. So now we have another mission. We're supposed to go over here and meet up with uh, some people at the armory, but you can already see there's two vehicles. They're within the sensor range. You see this blue line going around? That's our sensors. So we can already tell that there's mechs. Right here, it's a vehicle. 35 ton vehicle, which means it's a tank of some sort waiting for us. So we're uh, four armed, four warned. Way. I'm coming in fast. I'm getting a sensor trace. Well, yeah, we could already see it earlier, buddy. All right, enemy turn. So we, it looks like I have three, four vehicles. Tell me what you need. I need you to cool down. So she's actually gonna brace in place because brace allows her to be defensive, but it also allows the mech to cool down. It's kind of like turning, uh, turning on the, the cooling vents for your mech. I'm gonna go ahead and take this guy, that's me, and move up to that point right there. Full Try to get into the uh, into the battle. Now, don't think that these uh, that these vehicles can't hurt you. The vehicles can do a lot of damage. Do not mess with vehicles. When you when you go to attack a vehicle, don't hold back. Throw everything you have at the vehicles, because the vehicles can take you out. Now, Massive is actually is in, a, in a really good area right now. So I am going to have him hunker down where he's at. But he's going to sensor lock. And he's going to sensor lock on the 35-ton vehicle. What a sensor lock does is it takes its evasion away, which these don't have. But it allows me to see what it is. Go ahead and move in. No problem. Shouldn't be able to see me yet. But it's going to allow me to see it. This is a striker. All right. Yes, I hear you. I'm going to have her move. Now, you see that arcing line? That's because I won't have a, a, a direct line of sight on the enemy. But I can do indirect I fire. So, like my LRMs, long range missiles. I can fire those in an arc over the, the rock and actually attack the striker. Now you'll see what the striker has an LRM, long range missile 10. And this is going to attack all. It's going to be attacking on the side. So it's ramsackle. It hardly has any armor on it. Weak against melee, which means you can walk up and stomp this thing and one shot it. And it's currently a sensor locked. And it's visible to uh, is visible to both sides, all right. But I am going to go ahead and fire on it. The only thing I can hit it with is my LRM five, so that's when I'm going to be firing at it. And now that's an indirect fire shot. Eh, I got a little bit of damage on it. Every little bit helps. Once they come around the corner, <laughs> Centurion's going to rip them a new one. And then I'm going to be in position to do the same thing. Uh, question is, where do I want to get to? Unfortunately, I don't have any indirect weapons, so mine's all going to be directed fire. But I'm going to get myself in a position so that I can assist when they come around the corner. And then I'm going to brace. Nothing else I could do, I might as well just go ahead and brace. Now, I'm not I'm not really playing this safe. I'm trying to lead them into a, a tight area. And once they're in that area, that's when we're going to start having some fun. Okay, I'm going to have Massive Reserve. 
I'm going to wait for the enemy to get closer to me before I do anything. So we're all going to not move. And we're going to move in the next phase. So this thing just came around the corner. It did some decent damage. It's barely a scratch. All right, so everybody can attack now because I went ahead and saved that. But I'm gonna have him go flat. I want her to move to a position where she can get direct fire on that, but just on that one. It'll leave her out in the open, but like I said, the range on this should we should be just fine. And I'm not going to. And like I always said, you want to take that was way overkill, but it's awesome. <laughs> it might be overkill, but it's fun. Uh, yeah, you kind of erased it off the face of the planet. I've got your back. Uh, I'm actually I shouldn't be keeping sensor lock. All right, if I step out here, I can take pop shots at these guys. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. Roger that. I'm going to attack the further one that's out. Drop the LRM. Damn no reason to waste the heat. Damn you for making me do that, son. Damn you. See, I didn't even have to use the fur. The uh, AC-10 just took him out. Now there is one more tank back there, but he is still further back. But my guy, if I think I have this set up right. Oh, I don't, I can't get close enough. Darn it. I'll do this. I was gonna run up and uh, stomp him. We'll stomp one of them, I promise. Just cause it's so much fun. Uh, Yeah, I'll, I'll hold the AC2s back. Oh god, horrible shooting. Nice oh, but it's still, still just enough. Board. Now that other tank is going to get a shot off at me more than likely, and I'm the, probably the one that's going to take a shot at. Oh no. Take on Mastiff. Okay. It's better me than Lady Arana. Two. Got my attention. I'm gonna go ahead and move down here. I'm gonna have Call to move uh, eventually. So go ahead and do it in an actual turn of combat. Might as well. Shall I save my. Nah, I don't need to save my ammo. Roger. Finish this off. Oh god. I could have saved my ammo. <laughs> AC tens can do a lot of damage. Alright, everybody should be sprinting now. Confirmed. We're gonna move up to that waypoint. That's that yellow that yellow marker in the sky. Get everybody moving up. This is that that's that free movement area time I was telling you about. So Alexander is telling us that the uh, that her uncle is the one that's that course. We already knew that from the cutscene. Alexander. Now they're bombarding the city. That's where Alexander was. These guys are ruthless. They're attacking everybody. Civilians and the like. It doesn't matter. Basically, if you surrender now, we'll let you let you live. And she goes, Nope, not gonna do that. Okay, well, I was gonna I'm gonna spare you anyways, but now your escort has forfeited their lives. I'm reading another incoming bandit. So thanks. Appreciate it. Attention. 
<laughs> it's a it's a tutorial mission. It's gonna happen. Now you can die in this though. Lady Arano is to be apprehended and taken alive by my command. Fail to follow these instructions, and you will have me to deal with. So we got a cicada and spider. They're both uh, light mechs. I don't see them being that difficult uh, a fight. So I'm going to move into some trees so I have... From, oh, excuse me. And a locust. So is there anybody I can get in? Yeah, we'll do this. Copy that. Get a nice overview. Get into the trees. Have some cover. Get at least one pip of evasion, which is not good. But at least it's better than nothing. Now, locusts are pretty paper thin. Yeah, 30 armor on the front. 7 armor and 30 internals. We can go straight in on them. All weapons are Alpha go. strike on them. <laughs> oh, bye-bye, locust. Oh, and he gets a knockdown. Now that that locust is knocked down, it'll lose one initiative, and we can do called shots on it. But now he's been pulled out of the fight. Ooh, might with jump. Oh, he just did a death from above. But he I damaged his own armor. legs. Death from above is when a mech uh, purposely tries to land on you, so. Standing by. Yeah, standing by, but we're going to... We're going to come down here. Do what you ask. Take a better angle, so I don't want to give them a chance to fire my back and see how he damaged his own legs he took all his armor off I mean if I get a lucky leg hit it's pretty much over now a, a mech can lose one leg still stand up and be hampered but if it loses two legs it's out of the fight for good I'll make it happen yeah yeah it's hurt Hostile unit down yep lost both its legs Now that mech that I initially shot and dropped, it's it's gotten up and it's it's limping along. Because one of its legs is damaged. But it can still attack. So even uh, a basically destroyed mech is still dangerous. So we're going to go ahead and finish it out. We're going to take it out. We're gonna go ahead and do a full alpha strike on this thing, just to make sure. We barely destroyed it. That's why I wanted to do a full alpha strike on it. So that leaves a cicada. Now, a cicada isn't a wimp. It's it's definitely a mech you have to respect, but I took out the uh, its two little scouts. Okay, now it's running away. Attention. Citizens of Coromadir 6, this is Lord Santiago Espinosa. With the unanimous support of the founding houses, I have assumed control of the Oregon Coalition. For your own protection, I urge you to remain calm and stay indoors until otherwise instructed. All hostile units, stand down and you have my oath that you will not be harmed. Resist, and you will be fired. My father placed his faith in that man. I gave him my trust. He was a felony. They have good voice actors for this game. I just wish they'd given him more work. I really wish all these these things that you have to read were actually voice acted by the voice uh, by the voice actors. It would really help with the immersion. <laughs> Ouch. I mean, it's not going to uh, stop me from playing the game, but you know, it's just it's just one of those little touches. It would have been nice. We're going to move in uh, for a close up kill face-to-face -face with it. 
All right, turn off the AC2s. And I know I'm overheating that other mech, but it's tutorial. It really doesn't matter. Later on, it does, and I'll be more careful. Oh, seriously? That's okay. We've got the first initiative in the next round. So we'll be finishing this mech off quite quickly. Orders. All right. How much armor? Oh, God, it only has 89. I want to do a melee. Let's do a melee attack. Attack. Aye, aye. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. That was awesome. So Alexander survived, and he's sending a drop ship for us. We have to get to it. So there's a dropship for us, but we have some uh, enemy mechs and stuff in our way. We have to fight our way through. Let them come. I'll be waiting. So a couple vehicles, 25 tons a piece. And I'm sure there's a mech over there too. Talk to me. Roger that. The back, turn around. Actually, I got, well, I'll drop those two, but I will drop fire that. There we go. Got that AC-10 hits one of these early uh, tanks, these early vehicles. Never stood a chance. Yeah, they never stand a chance. They just get taken out immediately. So I'll, I'll always take a chance and pop shot one of those. Let's go ahead and sprint. Get some eyes on and some evasion. Now I won't be able to fire because I sprinted, but I'll have full evasion and I'll have eyes on and see what I'm dealing with. Now I don't have to worry about her heat. I'm just gonna keep walking forward. Her heat will dissipate over time. Each turn I'll lose a, a little bit more heat. And I'll brace at the end, which I'll even lose more heat. Another striker. Yeah, it's got an LRM on it. Eh, decent damage. You know, he peppered me. Nothing to be really worried about. Once Order. again, Massif gets to go first. Okay, let's... That was weird. Okay, there we go. Moving out. Let's move up a little bit more. Once again, I'm not going to fire the LRMs, but I'll fire the medium laser and the AC-10. But I didn't need the medium lasers because that AC-10 is ruling the battlefield. Go down. The it's just, it's overkill. It's overkill for this, this tutorial mission. It's flipping awesome, though. Yes, I hear you. All right, let's go ahead and sprint. You got your heat under control. I'll make it happen. Now there's these two towers up here. I need to take those towers out. Because they're going to they're gonna fire on us as well. So this time I'm not going to run. I'm just going to move up. I'm going to get one pip of evasion. And I'm going to start attacking these towers. I should be in range. Maybe not. Nope, I'm not in range to attack the towers. I know they're there, but I cannot attack. So we'll brace. You've got my right. attention. Mastiff. Let's move up. I should definitely be able Roger. to, one, be attacked by those towers. There we go. Now the tower's in range. Once again, 
Don't make me order your deaths. Whatever. Ah. Now we have a Wolverine. And the turrets. The turrets are actually the bigger issue right now. So I'm going to go and take these turrets out. Attack. Okay, come on. Come on. I want to attack. That turret. But it won't let me. Did I hit brace already? Okay, it wants me to brace. Oh, I don't understand why it wouldn't let me attack there, but okay. Ouch. Wolverine hits definitely a lot harder than the other mechs we faced so far. All right, now. See, that's that's what I was saying. It was odd. All right, I don't want to give a free attack to everything. I want to move in such a way that I'm only going to be attacked by two things if I can help it. But the most evasion I could get puts me in line with being attacked by all three. So we're going to move behind that rock over there. And we're going to go for that turret. Uh, not a very good shot. I'm listening. All right. Where can I move you that would be useful but not be just a target and nowhere? Oh, you know what? I'll swing over here. Now, it kind of like, is like, why am I going back and forth across the battlefield? The battlefield? I'm trying to move far enough to get as much evasion as I can. Because that evasion will help me from being hit. And I'm also going to, uh... Now, with her, I can do multi-target. I'm going to focus some of my attacks on the turret. And some of my attacks on this row, uh this mech right here. So B is the mech and A is the turret. And I am going to turn Oh, everything else is out of range. I can't. Oh, turn on my LRMs. My LRMs are going to attack the turret and everything else is going to go against the mech. I'll make it happen. Which probably means she's going to overheat again, but Good damage, but I still didn't take it out. That was a good round of hits, though. Ouch! Like I said, those turrets are nasty. That's why I want to take the turrets out. They always attack in round one, which is the assault mech Orders. category. Now you can see that my armor is starting to get worn down. If that ammo goes, it's going to blow. It'll blow off the arm and I'll damage my warrior, my mech warrior. So that's not good. We don't want that. Uh, let's multi-target also. Him and that turret. The turret will be on that. That works. Structure exposed. Good. Open him up a bit. And hopefully the LRMs will finish off that turret. There we go. That's what I needed. And you see, I haven't pushed forward so that the second turret's an issue. I do not want to. I do not want to engage that turret until I'm not facing this uh, mech right here. Ah, oh, that's not good. Critical. Yep, he got inside of my armor. You have my attention. Do not want to get close enough. There we go. I want to move across the battlefield again. Once again, trying to keep my evasion up. The reason he's getting beaten up because I didn't move him. I should have moved him. But I'm still learning. I mean, we can learn together, right? Now, if I fire, I'm going to overheat. If I fire everything. Let's drop the two medium lasers. I'm still overheating. I'll drop 
one of the SRMs. Okay, at least this way I won't overheat, I'm but on. we're still gonna pepper them really good. If you had any sense, you'd retreat. Yes, he would. But he doesn't, so. Once again, I don't want to move in such a way as that other turret comes into effect. Might as well stay out of the range. The turret can't move to get close enough and attack me. Use that to my advantage. And we're going to alpha strike on you, buddy. Well, I got his left arm. I didn't do what I wanted to do, which was take him out. All right. My guy is... My uh, massive has got to move because he's been beaten up. Now, which side is bad? So I want to, when I finish this maneuver, we'll face that way. Try to get that, that hurt side just a little bit turned away so it's, it's away from him. But I also think he's going to take him out. But I lost both my medium lasers. I've got some ammo left for my AC-10, and I've got my LRM, so. We're gonna, actually no, I have my medium lasers. Okay, I just lost some ammo. Everything I've got. Left torso destroyed, so torso destroyed, pilot's Take injured. That as a lesson. He's about to get knocked down. He's very close to uh, being unstable. Ah, now he's gonna turn and run. But I think Tell me that Tamea has got a rank. Oh, as long as I don't move, I can attack. Let's see, LRMs. Yeah, that's all I can attack with, but I might as well. Because like I said, I don't want to get on that turret until I'm ready to deal with just the turret by itself. I mean, the turret's not that scary. It's just, I don't need two things firing at me. It's just stupid to walk forward and say, oh, hey, why don't you attack me? You know, why don't I move within range and let you attack me with everything that you want? My two AC2s. Oh, man. Now the Wolverine, is he gonna turn and attack again or? Talk to me. No, if I just want to attack him from where I'm at, I might as well. He's got Good the burn. best, best chance of taking him out. Oh, part of a hit. There we go. I took out both his torches. I don't think he has anything left. I knew he was going to step back out. My armor's in bad shape. Yeah, I know. But he's the last one, and then it's just a turret. But what has he got left? Yes, I hear you. Jeez, look at that. <laughs> he's got no arms, no torsos. He's a head, a center, uh, a center torso, and legs barely. Barely any legs. Okay, we can do that weapon. without overheating. All right, finally, there we go. Man, that Wolverine was taking the Battle pounding. Eliminated. Don't sound so pleased with yourself. It took so freaking long. All right, let's move. There we go. Now we're moving around with this laser. He's going to get a couple hits on me. But at least I have a good amount of evasion. And he's the only thing that I'm dealing with now. You know what? Alpha All Strike. <laughs> Probably could take it out with an alpha strike. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. And I know this has been a long one, guys, but this is how long that first tutorial is. We're almost done. All right, let's get up. My lead. I'll make it happen. Copy that. Location confirmed. Gotta get to the jump so we can try to get out of here. Actually, we're supposed, to, uh, we're supposed to go here. Uh, 
There we go. We gotta wait five minutes for the engines to be ready. It's like five minutes? Are you serious? Thank you, Sirayu. Now Thank I've gotta lead her. I won't forget what you've done for me today. Gotta lead her to I the uh that. They won't let me move though. It's funny how he tells me to go go lead her, but it doesn't let me move. All units advance. Take down that that dropship. Destroy everyone and everything that stands in our way, or er, in your way. And I'm sorry, I can't do a good female voice, so I don't try. <laughs> this many mechs. I mean, look at that. Look at all this. There, we'd have no chance. We would have no chance. We would definitely be taken out. But it doesn't matter because my mech has been sabotaged. See, when they were working on all those, the Royal Guards battle mechs, they sabotaged them all so they don't have to fight them. So he wants me to punch out, because I'm, I'm useless. My mech is useless, I can't do anything, so. He gives me an order and I punch out. Blow my head and my cockpit goes flying in the air. See, a trebuchet. I was trying to see all the different mechs. Just a trebuchet is scary enough. I don't know if it was successful. She got away, but I had to punch and he got left behind. Well, that didn't work out the way it was intended. All right, so this is Darius. Hey, easy there, Cyber. You took a nasty crack on the head when you punched out. Don't worry, you're safe now. My name is Darius, and I am the XO of the Marksman's Marauders. Markham's Marauders. Not for long. You are a mercenary outfit. Wear a mercenary outfit that, that ties to House Arroyo. We did some work with the High Lord Tamati way back when. Yep. Why did you rescue me? So there's a lot of dialogue here. I'm not going to make you guys sit through it. Um, long story short, they saved us. Um, now we're going to go off with them and... Um, be uh, uh, mercenaries and that's basically that's why I love about this game it's not the house you you become a mercenary and you run your own mercenary group did you salvage my blackjack yes they did so what happens now I'd say, damn it, what a waste. So, it's not a cheap trip, but we can I can come along and I can work off my uh, uh, 
passage. They give me a couple options. You can stay with them for the long haul. I'm not sure if you actually have a, 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 ch a choice in the matter on what you choose. <laughs> Three years later. So it, it's like you could have made a choice, but you don't and you end up staying with them. So it immediately pops you into uh, another combat mission, but we're not going to do that today. This one has gone on long, very, very long. We'll do this in the next, we'll run this mission in the next run. I've been Critical. This has been Battletech. I hope you guys have enjoyed this content. If you have, drop a like, consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Bye.